win. Hello everyone, you're listening to the Socially Desi Show, the podcast that motivates you to live, create and inspire. If this is your first time here, welcome. On our show, we discuss tips and strategies with our guest speakers on how to tackle problems related to personal growth, mental health, relationships, business and entrepreneurship and health and fitness. So hit that subscribe button and go check out our website at sociallydesi.com for more of such content. Today I'm joined by Mr. Ved Krishna. He's the vice chairman of Yesh Packa. Yesh Packa is an innovative homegrown compostable packaging brand. Their brand has won the India Design Mark, Red Dot and CII Design Awards. Their clientele includes the likes of Haldiram, Fasos, Chai Point and many more. So guys, uh, help me welcome the ecopreneur Mr. Ved Krishna. Hello Ved, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much Anurag for having me. The pleasure is all mine Mr. Ved. Thank you for uh, sparing your time for the Socially Desi show. We are you know, happy to have you on board. And today is a very interesting topic because we are talking about environment, we're talking about plastic pollution, and we are also talking about how we can lead uh, the society, the world into a more sustainable way of living. And for that, I think, you know, you are the perfect guest to be on board. So before we even start today's episode and get into the crux of uh, the matter, uh, let's talk a bit about your professional journey so far. Why don't you tell us uh, a bit about your journey and uh, how did it all start for you? Uh, Like I think everybody else, it's a funny uh, series of events that gets you to where you are today. Uh, Mm -hmm. I was born to a very... Uh, interesting set of parents. Both were extremely adventurous, extremely oriented towards nature. My father was very motivated towards business and he started a very, very small pulp and paper company back Mm -hmm. in 1983. He had two sons and neither of them were interested. That was me and my younger brother. Uh, I was okay. I was busy doing adventure sports. I was flying mm-hmm. planes and I was studying okay. in England and, you know, mm-hmm. doing uh, numerous things there. And my major was also in sports management and political oh. economics. So wow. nothing to do with business. And my father was really attached to his business, but he went through an open heart surgery around 1994. And okay. uh, when he came out of that operation, uh, he said, you know, like, this is this is not the be all and end all of my life. So we said, uh, you know, we were a little bit shocked, you know, you yeah, know what yeah. has happened? Ye kya hua? You know, what is what is uh, what is the shift? So he said, does any of you want to join? So we were like, no, I said, what what do you want to do for the rest of your life? He said, I just want to travel on my motorcycle. So we were like, okay. okay. <laughs> so, 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 but what I had done was that when I was, um, 18, I was uh, doing my uh, private pilot's license. So Mm -hmm. the flying used to get over early in the morning. So in the day, uh, I had time and uh, I had no money. So I went to my father and I had said that, you know, give me some, can you give me some jobs so that, you know, I can have some money and I can, I can sort of do things on my own. He said, yeah, sure. So the next day I was called in and for six months I was made to clean, clean drains uh, and then unload (laughs) the trucks. Uh, we had old gunny sacks then, which were old bore mm-hmm. hote. And yep, we were, yep. I had to sort of uh, sort those. And uh, then eventually I was allowed to operate the machines, but then work in night shifts, day shifts. So I had done a lot of that. Uh, so I was used to the business. Uh, and when this shift happened, I said, okay, let me, I was very attached to my father. And I said, okay, let me try and experiment with this. So I came back in the summer holidays from England and I would work again in shifts. And I felt, you know, like at least let my father go ahead and do what he wants to do. Uh, and right. I said, okay, if, if somebody has to come in, let me come in. So that's how I ended up in this business. Uh, but then, of course, you know, the business has evolved since then and the size of the company has changed. And, you know, the company is very, very different from when I had actually entered back in 1999. Interesting, interesting. And what sort of a shift have you seen in the company? And uh, and before we even uh, talk about that, uh, what was the inspiration like? What was your father's inspiration behind starting uh, Yash Pekka? Uh, I think more than inspiration, it was, uh, you know, like uh, it was difficult times and uh, he had no money. And uh, he came from an industrial background. My grandfather had a few sugar mills, but then they had okay. had some family separation and weren't left with any cash. 
and he wanted to start something. He was farming before that and doing some other sort of little sort of uh, industries. And then at this time, my mother ended up uh, sending, selling her jewelry and saying that, okay, you go ahead and uh, have uh, some seed capital. And uh, mm-hmm. he started building things from there. So, so initially it was just the, just to sort of make sure that you stay alive because he was an entrepreneur and he wanted to do something on their own, on his own. And these small uh, paper industries had started coming in and he knew a little bit about that. So, you know, that's what ended up uh, happening. And he, he started from a, literally sitting under a tree and running a paper machine. So oh, producing okay. like very, very little, you know, wo, uh, purani, you know lottery ticket mila karti thi us mm-hmm. mein. Uh, and, uh, and obviously, wasari, they used to go on waste. So right. he used to pulp those lottery tickets and then, uh, you know, make paper out of that. And uh, thoda sa color mila ke jo bhi rang banta tha, usse bana dete the. So that was the kind of rudimentary start mm-hmm. that happened. But he literally built it uh, brick by brick and... Uh, slowly made it into a decent sized company by the time I entered the business. Interesting. And uh, what was the shift you you spoke about? You know, the uh, company has shift, you know, they, they have, you have expanded and uh, things have changed. So what sort of change uh, have you brought in in the last, uh, you know, cup, couple of decades maybe uh, with the company? So I don't know. That's always a difficult question. Jab aap bolte ho, what sort of change have you brought in? Because actually, we log apne aap ko jada, you know, tawajju uh, dene lag jate hain. But uh, otherwise, changes happen as you are there. Yeah. And I think more than anything else, the universe or the uh, jo bhi, you know, the, the kainat aapke aspas hoti hai that sort of mm-hmm. guides you. So I entered yeah. the business as a very young, highly ambitious 24-year-old or uh, galtiyon ki katar laga di. Uh, I did so many mistakes <laughs> that the business almost went under. And uh, my father uh, had left and he was running a motorcycle touring company by then. Okay. And okay. then, of course, I lost him relatively early in 2005. So, he uh, you know, from 1999 to 2005 with mm-hmm. him at mm-hmm. least around, in the sense he was a phone call away. Uh, but then there were big ambitious goals and we were a very small, not but from a paper industry size, we were about a 30 crore turnover company. Or okay. uh, I had decided that I want to do this 85 crore project. So when the banker came to the bank, he was laughing. He said, what are you doing? You have a total size of 30 crore. And you are saying that you will have a project of 80 crore. So, you know, you have to put 15-20 crore. Ka laga lo, bhai. Right. I said, Ye to hoga nahi. we want to enter into much more specialized segments. We want to export the paper all across the world, <clears throat> etc., etc. So they said, uh, you know, they were literally like, you know, they were uh, 25 years old and they didn't have any idea. Hai nahi. But I said, Aap itna karo ki you let me present my case to your right. uh, general mm-hmm. manager. <clears throat> and they got convinced and eventually we ended up setting up a project of 117 crores from the same bankers. Oh, interesting. Uh, so that's, and we didn't But uh, <laughs> anyways, one or the other way, we found ways to raise the capital mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and did it, but made huge amount of mistakes uh, in that process. And, uh, you know, the company basically went down under. Uh, and that's when the real shift happened, actually. Jo aapka sawal hai, it's a long-winded answer to your question. So no, no, I think that's the, that's the right, right that's the right path that you have taken uh, to explain the answer. I really like it. So yeah. please go ahead. <laughs> so the real shift was actually in life, shifts they happen, I guess, when you have no other sort of uh, scope. You are totally down under and you're thinking, I will survive. Karunga. And, you know, of course, there's a huge responsibility. There are many people who are in the business. They have stood by you, uh, your buyers, your suppliers, your people uh, in the company and, you know, everybody else, all the stakeholders. And you're like, and Roj wo satati hai ki you're not being able to do justice for them. And you are in this leadership position. You're making mistakes. There's no fault of anybody else's. And you are ending up in a soup. So, in that time, you know, that uh, sort of art manthan bahut hua. And I felt that I'm in the wrong place. So my wife would ask me many times, ki, you know, agar koi bhi restriction nahi ho tumhare paas, what would you do? So I would go back and I would say, you know, ki, I would do something with nature. Kuch na kuch prakriti se judawa karunga. Or, uh, you know, and then uh, 
with that in mind around the same time jaise kainat karti hai they made me meet one of my amazing mm-hmm. mentors gurus ek uh, vyakti hain dr prasad kaipa ke naam se okay. and uh, he basically he taught me four very important things aur ye ye aapke sath share karni zaruri hai <laughs> pehli sure. cheez yes, jo unhone yes. kahi ki koi bhi cheez uh, jeevan mein coincidence nahi hota hai. there is no by chance it, there is always a design behind it so if you say ki main by chance is business mein aa gaya aur meri koi isme uh, you know koi bhi meri uh, me, uh, it was it was just by stroke of luck that's not the case there was a something planned in your destiny which led you here and <clears throat> so i said theek hai bhai the second thing he said is that you know jo bhi hai apne paas uh, you've created and you know built a lot of intellectual Uh, capability over these years and it is better to build on top of it rather than disregard right. it to hmm. to you know unhone kaha ki tum bhai himalaya parvat mein ja ke do char saal shambhala khojne ki koshish karo meditate on it and where but ultimately you know you're not going to find much you can try it ultimately the gold is written hidden right here uh, right. where you are and you know you build on top of it the third very important thing he taught me is that your purpose in life aur jo jeevan ka moolya tatva hai ya jo mahatva hai ya meaning hai ya purpose hai that doesn't come for that really comes when you are working for others rather than working for yourself so you know what are you going to sure. contribute towards the larger mankind or planet or whatever you want to call it and yeah. fourth uh, he said ki jo bhi jitne restrictions hain dimag mein कि मैं इतना कर सकता हूँ मेरे पास इतना पैसा है या यही मैं कर सकता हूँ इसके अलावा मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकता हूँ इट्स ऑल इन द माइंड सो यू हैव टू अनशैकल योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम द रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंड बी रेडी टू यू नो लाइक नॉट पुट एनी इफ बर्ड्स की यू नो दर्ल्ड इज एस्टर आप जो भी चाहो वो कर सकते हो दीज फोर लर्निंग वेरी interesting for me you know some may be realize that we were in the packaging business most of our paper was going into packaging parantu hamara koi bhi control nahi tha uske usage pe to jyada kar jo kagaj hai wo istemal ho raha tha aap sabun use karte hain you know the soap wrappers a lot of mm-hmm. our paper was used there to upar mein plastic niche mein plastic and you know right. beech mein kagaj carry karta tha usko <laughs> yeah that was a big usage और मैं जब देखता था अपने अराउंड तो बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इन द इन्वायरमेंट वाज दैट ऑफ पैकेजिंग स्पेशली सिंगल यूज पैकेजिंग एंड वी रियलाइज दैट यार हम तो इसी धंधे में और मैं प्रकृति से रिलेटेड कार्य करना चाहता हूं और मैं दूसरी जगह ढूंढ रहा हूं सो व्हाई डोंट वी लुक एट बेटर पैकेजिंग एंड दैट्स वेन द ह्यूज शिफ्ट हैपन इन टू और हम लोगों ने धीरे धीरे तीन दिशाओं पर कार्य चालू किया जो हम आज भी कर रहे हैं Uh, ये दिशाएं थी कि हम uh, बेहतर बैग्स कैसे प्रोवाइड करेंगे हाउ डू वी मेक बेटर बैग्स फॉर मेनली यू नो फूड कैरिंग फूड बैग्स ग्रोसरी बैग्स दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग एंड देन हाउ डू वी मेक बेटर फूड सर्विस प्रोडक्ट्स अपने आसपास जब अपने देखते हैं कि थर्मोकॉल के प्रोडक्ट्स uh, या प्लास्टिक लाइन्ड प्रोडक्ट्स जो कागज के ऊपर रहते हैं या प्लास्टिक बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट्स उनको कैसे रिप्लेस करेंगे and the third was uh, of flexible packaging jo aap multi layered packaging dekhte hain jaise aap potato chips ke bag kharidenge to usme yep, aapko yep. ek uh, you know silver lining metalized film milegi ye hmm, itne hmm. unda tarike se engineer kiye hue products hain ki ye 1 lakh saal tak bhi kahin nahi jane wale plastic basic plastic apne sochte hain ki yaar 500 saal mein sad gal jayegi parantu hmm. pehla jo plastic bag bana tha wo usko 70 saal bhi nahi hue तो यू नो उस बेचारे को भी 430 साल हैं अभी जाने के लिए तो तो यू नो सो दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ इश्यू वी आर लुकिंग एट सो वी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग इन दीज थ्री डोमेन्स एंड आई वुड से दैट सिंस देन यू नो इट्स बीन द यूनिवर्स इज सिम्फनी कि गीत बज रहा है कार्य हो रहा है लोग आ जाते हैं अच्छी चीजें होने लग जाती हैं वी आर ऑन अ पाथ इट्स ऑफकोर्स अ जर्नी एंड इट टेक्स टाइम बट द कंपनी हैज शिफ्टेड more or less entirely from being a pulp and paper company to being a compostable packaging company no very very uh, beautifully put and uh, explained uh, mr wade because uh, i think it's really important that uh, like you said you know the journey you have already started on that journey and of course the destination is far off 
but it's the journey that matters and uh, with every company uh, you know the the impact on the society is is equally the same when you work towards a sustainable living and that is what we are discussing guys so everyone listening out here let me give you a couple of uh, mind boggling uh, facts about the horrors of plastic so almost 80 billion uh, tons of plastic is uh put in uh, our oceans every year annually that's the size and by 2050 it is estimated that um, the total weight of the plastic which is being dumped into the oceans is going to outweigh the the ocean life the fishes that's that's one of the huge huge numbers that i wanted to put up on the episode apart from that uh yeah, the the water bottles that we see right every single minute it's uh, it's said that almost 1 million plastic bottles are purchased every single minute across the globe this episode is already 15 minutes long we are into the 15th minute so you can imagine how many water bottles have been already purchased and these are plastic water bottles out of which unfortunately what the number says is less than 10% of the plastic uh which is being sold is recycled so these are you know some of the heartbreaking numbers because this again uh, impacts the ozone layer it impacts our environment uh so uh mr wade uh these numbers you know for people these are just numbers but for the environment these are you know daggers which are being hit in the heart directly how can we as a society as businesses as industries how can we adapt to a more sustainable living sustainable lifestyle uh, in order to ensure that we reduce the harmful impact of plastic usage i want to know your thoughts on this so uh, anurag it's a very complicated uh, uh, you know scenario itna hmm. itna matlab ki itna straight forward nahi hai so let's start yeah. uh, sort of trying to break it down in different ways sure. नंबर sure. एक uh, क्या है कि प्लास्टिक भी अगर आप देखोगे तो अल्टीमेटली पर्सनली आई हैव नथिंग अगेंस्ट प्लास्टिक बिकॉज प्लास्टिक इज आल्सो रियली ओल्ड बायोमास बस वो दिक्कत क्या है कि वो uh, करीब सौ uh, लाख साल पुराना बायोमास है एंड इट इज फॉसिलाइज्ड एंड वी आर टेकिंग आउट फ्यूल एंड वी आर क्रिएटिंग सब्सटेंसिस फ्रॉम इट सो वी हैव टू लुक एट ह्यूमन इंजेन्यूटी एंड रियली बी एबल टू अप्रिशिएट इट किसी ने तेल निकाला uh, जमीन के अंदर से और उसके जो कुछ अंश थे वो फ्यूएल में गए और उसके बाद जो वेस्ट मटेरियल है उससे तमाम चीजें पर्याप्त हुई एंड यू नो यू कैन लुक एट प्लास्टिक आप अपने अराउंड देखोगे तो ज्यादातर चीजों में राइट फ्रॉम योर हेडफोन्स टू योर कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन टू योर मोबाइल फोन टू योर टूथब्रश टू योर टूथपेस्ट टू यू नो द अमाउंट ऑफ थिंग्स द प्लास्टिक हैज अडेप्टेड टू इज ट्रूली माइंड बॉगलिंग सो इट्स बीन अ वेरी फ्लेक्सीबल प्रोडक्ट विच इज लेट टू एक्सट्रीम कन्वीनियंस फॉर पीपल so so you know so it has become such a ubiquitous part of our living ki bhai aap subah uthte ho aur you know jo bhi aap use karte ho right till you go to sleep <laughs> yeah, you true. will find a bit of plastic in that so yep. number one is that it is an extremely flexible substance and it has uh, created uh, a lot of convenience for the people the challenge actually is that we don't know how to dispose it and we don't know how to get rid of it and that's where the bigger challenge comes and uh, actually aapne recycling ki baat ki recycling also many times is a misnomer kyunki recycling mm-hmm. koi cheez nahi hoti hai it's basically downcycling to hota kya hai ki jaise okay. apne bolte hai na ki itne micron ka hi plastic aap use kar sakte hai heavier because that yes. can be downcycled lekin wo mm-hmm. ek level tak hi downcycle hoga ultimately wo jo kale rang ki jhilli type ka plastic milta hai na bilkul sasta yeah, wala yeah. वो mm-hmm. उसके बाद वो रिसाइकिल भी नहीं हो सकता दैट्स इट दैट्स द फाइनल एंड ऑफ इट वो कहीं ना कहीं फिर जाएगा द की एज यू सेड इज एक्चुअली एवरीबडी हैज टू आइडियली ट्राई एंड कंट्रीब्यूट इन आवर ओन लाइव्स अब वो कितना होगा नहीं होगा दैट्स अ डिफरेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ डिबेट बट एंड ऑफ द डे द बेस्ट सिचुएशन इज आइडियल सिचुएशन इज नो पैकेजिंग नो पैकेजिंग इज द बेस्ट सिचुएशन कि भाई आप पहले जैसे Uh, लोग करते थे अपनी अपना थैला लेके जाते थे किराने वाले के पास वहां से yeah. बड़े बैग से वो मेजर करके अपना यू uh, नो you know, देता था दैट इज एन आइडियल सिनेरियो लेकिन वी आर सो यूज्ड टू कन्वीनियंस सो इन द एंड बिकॉज वी आर सो यूज्ड टू कन्वीनियंस और मुझे लगता नहीं कि हम बड़ी आसानी से उस कन्वीनियंस को छोड़ेंगे सो द की इज एक्चुअली टू बी एबल टू रिप्लेस दो सबस्ट्रेट की कैसे हम uh, ऐसी चीजें यूज करें जिससे कि वो अगर कहीं फेंकी जाए 
तो वापस वो खाद में परिवर्तित हो जाए सो यू नो हाउ डू वी सॉर्ट ऑफ मेक प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक दिस दैट इज द की Uh, when it comes to plastic bottles, it's always been a absolute. Uh, kya bolenge? Uh, marketing uh, excellence, uh, if you look at it, because yeah, ultimately, we are selling water at the end of the day. Correct. And water in water, there is no special thing about water. That you can't put 100 filters, you can't put aqua guards, etc., etc. So, but in today's day, again, it's a matter of convenience, and we feel that these bottles, which are the bottles, इन अ वे इट्स रियलिटी ऑल्सो बोतलों की वैल्यू है आज के दिन में अगर आप किसी right. भी कबाड़ी वाले के पास जाएंगे रैक पिकर के पास जाएंगे तो बोतल सबसे पहले ले लेगा वो कि true, वो आसानी true. से बिकती है लेकिन वो जो बिकती है वो एक्चुअली में बोतल नहीं बनती है उससे दोबारा यू एंड अप गेटिंग यू मेक मेक कट इट डाउन इन टू फाइबर्स एंड वो right. आपके तकिए में जाएगी आपके कपड़ों में जाएगी और उसके बाद वो आप धोएंगे जब आप धोएंगे तो वो वापस पानी में जाएगी और जो आप बात कर रहे थे कि वो फिर से वो अस्सी uh, बिलियन नहीं है आठ बिलियन है बट फिर भी बहुत सारा प्लास्टिक uh, जाता है समुद्र में एंड ऑफ द डे वो माइक्रो पार्टिकल्स बन के वापस uh, समुद्र में जाएगा सो सो दो चैलेंजेस इट्स अ कॉम्प्लेक्स सेट ऑफ चैलेंजेस इट्स नॉट सो सिंपल बट आई वुड से द वन वी आर ट्राइंग टू टैकल इज दैट ऑफ सिंगल यूज कि भाई जब आपने सिंगल यूज बोलते हैं तो चाहे वो थैली हो गई चाहे वो बोतल हो गई चाहे वो पोटेटो चिप्स का बैग हो गया चाहे वो साबुन की टिक्किया का रैपर हो गया All these are typically on average from the shelf to your house. Average में बोलते हैं बारह मिनट इस्तेमाल है इसका hmm, तो वो hmm. बारह मिनट का जो कन्वीनियंस है ना उसको कम से कम अपने दूर करें सो दैट इज आवर एफर्ट एंड यू नो एटलीस्ट इट्स माई होप इन दिस लाइफ इज दैट एटलीस्ट उस तरफ हम लोग कुछ इम्पैक्ट कर पाएंगे एंड विच इंडस्ट्रीज यू सी आर लीडिंग दिस वे There are many many things happening in the innovation space. बहुत लोग कार्य कर रहे हैं Now yeah. our challenge as being part of that movement is that ultimately there is a certain price aspect. There right. is a certain effectiveness aspect. जैसे एक हमारे एक ग्राहक हैं amazing company does a lot of Kellogg's वगैरह जो General Mills करके है एक company. Okay. और mm-hmm. ही टोल्ड मी एक बार मैं उनको काफी धक्का दे रहा था कि भाई आप ये क्यों नहीं इस्तेमाल करते ये कॉम्पोस्टेबल है तो ही सेट अ वेरी एप्ट थिंक टू मी अनुराग ही सेट कि यार तुम तुम मेरे आओ अंग्रेजी में बोला उन्होंने बट हिंदी में ज्यादा मजेदार है तो ही सेट कि ये बताओ यार अल्टीमेटली कि तुम्हारी पैकेजिंग का धर्म क्या है तो ऐसे अच्छा है ये तो बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग सवाल है तो ऐसे भाई पैकेजिंग का धर्म है अंदर जो सामान पड़ा है उसकी सुरक्षा करना उसकी किसी भी तरीके से सुरक्षा करना बिकॉज ही सेट फॉर मी इट्स अ बिगर एनवायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट अगर मेरा जो अंदर का सामान है वो खराब हो गया ही सेट आप सोचो इसकी इसकी लाइफ साइकिल सोचो कि मैंने आलू लगवाए सबसे पहले ठीक है आलू लगाने में किसान ने मेहनत की खेत जोता उसमें तमाम पानी लगाया गया फिर वो आलू निकाले गए आलू पैदा हुए उसमें जो भी और खाद पड़ी एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड आलू प्रिपेयर हुए फिर उनको ग्रेड किया गया फिर उनको धोया हुआ गया फिर उनको हमारी फैक्ट्री भेजा गया वहां पे फर्दर सॉर्ट ऑफ नुकसान हुआ पानी यूज हुआ उसको काटा गया फिर उसका चिप्स बना फिर इस पैकेट में जो कि प्रोटेक्टर है उसको हमने डाला अब ये अगर आलू वेस्ट हो गया अंदर का तो सोचो कितना बड़ा नुकसान है इन द प्रोसेस सो ऐसे डेरी तो सही बात है तो ही सेट मैं आलू का नुकसान नहीं होने दूंगा सो ही सेट दैट्स अ बिगर चैलेंज फॉर मी नाउ यू हैव टू बिल्ड पहला जो आपका धर्म है दैट इज टू प्रोटेक्ट वॉट इज इन साइड सो जो फर्स्ट एस्पेक्ट दैट वी हैव इज कि हम कैसे अपना धर्म का पूरा पालन करें सो दैट मीन्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट हैज टू बी सच कि वो कहीं भी उन्नीस ना हो यू नो इन द सेंस की कभी भी जो अंदर का सामान है वो ना होने दे The second challenge that we face right now is that of uh, costing. Ultimately, जो पेट्रोलियम है इतने बिकॉज अगेन कॉस्ट या प्राइस जो है वो एक तुलनात्मक हिस्सा है अपनी जिंदगी का यू नो टिल यू डोंट हैव समथिंग एल्स यू विल नॉट से जो भी आप बोलते हो ये दाम ज्यादा है या कम है वो एक तुलनात्मक दृष्टिकोण से बोलते हो अल्टीमेटली कि भाई ये अल्टीमेटली नहीं तो इन आइसोलेशन देर इज नो सच थिंग एज ज्यादा या कम एक चीज है उसका ये दाम है दैट्स इट तो 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 अब क्या है कि अभी जो तुलनात्मक दृष्टिकोण से अपने देखेंगे तो फिर जो पेट्रोलियम है उसके वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट से प्लास्टिक्स बनते हैं तो द प्राइस इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट देर वेर एज हम लोग जब कोई भी चीज बना रहे हैं वेदर इज फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चरल वेस्ट 
uh, or other substances like starches, etc., etc. So, wo jo hai price uh, parity nahi aa hai. So, both those things have to be met in the end to really have a huge success. Uh, the quality of the product, jo apna dharm ka palan kare, and second right. is the price aspect. So, there are various people who are working on it. Uh, mujhe to ye lagta hai ki aisa hoga, and we shouldn't even think that we will make better products than plastic. We will hmm. make better hmm. products than plastics. Even at better prices than plastic, because the raw material is plastic, ka, that's a limited resource. End right. of the day, tail bhi aapko 2040 or 2050 ta ki milne wala hai. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, end of the day, you will whatever that life blood is under the earth. So, hmm, you will be sooner or later. And you will be able to get the tail in the sooner or later. You will be able to get the tail in the sooner or later. You will be able And, you know, if you have uh, literally 5 saal pehle bhi dekhte to 50 60 ke aas pass the dam so True. this is a trend that will continue overall so it will impact and slowly uh, the other substances will our technologies will grow and we will be able to meet the uh, pricing as well as the quality standards Right. Interesting. And uh, like you spoke about, you know, that you're working with your clients and you're uh, trying to educate them and trying to help them implement uh, your packaging, you know, more eco-friendly packaging uh, in their own products. So, and you spoke about the challenges that you're also facing with the clients. How is Yesh Pekka working towards this change? Because uh, we also want to know from your perspective, uh, how are you and your clients working towards this and what what sort of future plans uh, can we uh, see from Yash Pekka and its product range? Yeah, so uh, thank you for that question. I think that is a very apt sort of question because that's what we work ab- work with mm-hmm. every day. So first thing I want to make clear is that there is no need education in the clients today. I think everybody okay. understands this issue, especially the mm-hmm. people who work with us. Uh, we are... Like, it, I can't even tell you, Anurag, ki kitna heartwarming hai because every day we are approached by people who... I like, tell you that one person, one lady, hai, uh, she runs this amazing uh, uh, restaurant chain called Potbelly. I, maybe okay. you've heard of it. So, hmm. unne mujhe call kiya, unne bola, they called me and they said, look, I won't go to delivery business until you don't give me a product. Nahi doge. <laughs> so, I said, what does this mean? Okay. So, so, she said, ki, yaar, my husband says every time, कि मुझे भाई डिलीवरी इज द ओनली बिजनेस राइट नाउ रेस्टोरेंट्स तो चल नहीं रहे तो right. तो बट डिलीवरी तो भाई जब भी मैं मेरा तो खून जलता है जब मैं प्लास्टिक देखती हूं तो मैं कैसे उसको जस्टिफाई करूं तो मैं धंधा बंद कर दूंगी बट मैं डिलीवर नहीं करूंगी जब तक तुम मुझे प्रोडक्ट नहीं दोगे तो दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ क्लाइंट्स वी आर फेस्ड विद एवरी डे एंड आई कांट इवन टेल यू हाउ सॉर्ट ऑफ overwhelmed we are many many times log mere se ek ek aur mera mitra hai wo sunscreen aur ye cosmetics nikal raha tha to usne mere se sampark kiya usne bola bhai mere ko ye cosmetics nikalne hai sunscreen nikalna hai lekin main ye plastic ke tube mein nahi bechunga okay sir acha to ye sir tum mujhe product bana ke to i said yaar mera ye dhanda nahi hai main main jo kaam kar raha hu wo food services ki taraf kar raha hu तो इसे okay. मुझे नहीं पता वो सब वो सब तुम्हारा प्रॉब्लम है <laughs> मेरे को तो यार ये लॉन्च करनी है <laughs> हां मुझे तो पैकेजिंग चाहिए मुझे आगे मुझे कुछ नहीं पता अब मैंने भी उसको डाल दिया किसी तरीके से फिर एक महीने बाद फोन कॉल क्या हुआ मेरी पैकेजिंग का ऐसे यार रिधा ऐसे नहीं होता है कि तुमने hmm. कल बोला उसमें वो आज मैंने ये बना दिया और तुम्हें दे दिया इतना आसान थोड़ी ना तो इसे यार इतना कितना समय लोगे तुम तो ऐसे अभी तो यार हमारे वो बोले कि हमारे पूरे प्लान में ही नहीं है तो ये सेट भाई कुछ तो समय होगा तुम्हारा कुछ तो लिमिट होगी तो ऐसे यार वेरी एक साल बाद तो ये सेट यार धरती के पास इतना समय नहीं है जितना तुम सोच रहे हो तो यू नो यू यू गेट पीपल लाइक दैट हु आर सो पैशनेट अबाउट देयर वर्क सो आई डोंट थिंक देयर इज एनी नीड टू एजुकेट अल्टीमेटली ज्ञात सबको है कि दिक्कतें क्या हो रही है एवरीडे अभी यू मेंशनड वन ऑफ आवर अमेजिंग क्लाइंट्स हल्दीराम आई वाज सिटिंग विद देयर ओनर्स and it mm-hmm. was so heartwarming again and rag ki bhai wo jo vyakti hain such a gem of a person he said ki yaar abhi to maine khali apne restaurants mein change kiya hai i want to change all my packaging he said mujhe badi dikkat hoti hai aaj ke din hamara bahut bada business hai frozen foods ka business jo hum uh, desh videsh bhejte hain tum humko uske liye mm-hmm. packaging bana ke do i don't want to send it in plastic so you know so people are very aware 
of uh, this whole uh, system. And of course, there's a lot of greenwashing that goes on. There's a lot of big announcements that get made ki hum yeah. tak ye kar denge, wo kar denge. <clears throat> Lekin actual action bhi hai. Aisa nahi hai ki nahi hai. So one is that people don't uh, need to be educated so much. They definitely need the right product at the right price. Jab right product ab right price pe doge, to log shift karenge. People's brands also align with that. Uh, there are people coming in. So hum basically teen areas may we have chosen. Uh, two of those areas are areas which we are very passionate about also because wo jo, products which are used in some places are not downcyclable or recyclable or hmm. compostable or hmm. biodegradable. To nahi hai. That's styrofoam you take, which is thermocol or right. flexible packaging. This is the kabadi, he will not buy it. वो hmm. उसके लिए कोई वैल्यू hmm. नहीं है इन प्रोडक्ट्स की कोई उसका फर्दर यूसेज नहीं है उसके लिए भी करेक्ट सो दीस आर द बिगेस्ट ट्रिकी प्रोडक्ट्स दैट वी हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन जो फ्लेक्सिबल पैकेजिंग वाला एरिया है वो इत्तेफाक से हम लोगों को तकरीबन 10 साल हो गए हैं इस पे हम लोग मेहनत कर रहे हैं uh, hmm. अगले hmm. महीने इन फैक्ट वी आर इन फैक्ट दिस महीने सितंबर एंड वी हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क विद अ कपल ऑफ वेरी लार्ज कॉन्ग्लोमरेट्स जो कि विश्व स्तर पे कार्य करती हैं this month also we are presenting an amazing solution jo ye chote wale shampoo sachets hote hain na jo bhar ke hum log ek do baar use karke phek dete hain ye bhi bada ek bada challenge hai because they are again yep, yep. very very difficult products so we are just presenting a solution for that uh, this month hopefully we'll be able to meet the price parity as well to yep. hum usme kuch badlav la payenge and the second, of course, we've launched this whole range of products. Uh, there is a brand that we've tried to create. Uh, mm-hmm. And we are trying to do food services uh, and food delivery now. So now we have four containers for delivery. It's taken us three years of R&D. Because these natural products are automatically steam. So they get a little soft by the time the food reaches the customer. So that has been a huge part of our R&D, ki kaise isko hum break kare. The third is, of course, the whole aspect of uh, how do you make a better bag. So we take a Nazuk uh, fiber, which is mm, sugarcane based. And how do we treat it so that we can, mm, mm. okay. we can uh, build a nice, strong uh, cellulose substrate, which is paper, how do we make it so that we can uh, provide kare, taki we can uh, b- replace the bags. So all three areas we'll continue to work on and keep taking out newer and newer products. The fourth domain which we've started actively pursuing now, and this comes from your original question, ki kaise ye scale pe hoga, is we huh. realize that ultimately agricultural residues, jo hai, agricultural waste, jo hai, usme hmm. bohat, uh, possibilities hai. and we can, jaise apne, you know, abhi bhi kai bar hum log cellophane bulate hai. एक पतली वाली प्लास्टिक को yep, वो एक्चुअली yep. सेल्यूलोसिक फिल्म हुआ करती थी पॉली फिल्म की पहले अब तो खैर पॉलीथीन को भी हम सेल्यूलो सेलोफीन बुला लेते हैं बट दैट वाज अ कंपोस्टेबल फिल्म अर्लियर तो दो दैट्स वन डायरेक्शन दैट वी आर आल्सो वर्किंग इन और हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि एग्रीकल्चरल पल्प और बनाया जाए ताकि और लोग भी इस पे कार्य कर पाए और हम और सप्लाई कर पाए so that's the fourth direction we will be looking at so all four have certain plans and certain product launches and uh, I would say ki bhai, uh, just the se the, you know, we have an amazing team and the way they are working, I'm sure uh, literally uh, there'll be continuous uh, innovations that we brought forward in the commercial space. No, wonderful, wonderful, Mr. Ved. And uh, like you said, you know, I think I remember a good incident with those uh, one rupee, two rupee sachets that you spoke about, those mm-hmm. plastic sachets mm-hmm. of shampoos and other things. So yeah. uh, I think, you know, uh, uh, do you feel that authorities and the government needs to work towards educating people, you know, who are uh, deep inside the country, the Bharat side of India? Do you think that education there is more required? Because I see, and uh, I may be wrong, but uh, I've seen that people using plastics and these kind of small sachets there is more. Like, if I give someone option to give a you know, let's for example, Pantene ka shampoo ka bottle up karid lije, pura pack karid lije plastic ka. They will not buy that, but they'll be happy buying those one rupee, two rupee ke uh, hundreds of packets uh, throughout the month. So, do you feel that education there is uh, a necessity uh, for the authorities and the government? 
I think Anurag, education se jada, it is the, the ultimately aadmi kharita kyo nobody actually me bahut mehenga hai agar dekha jaye to wo product परंतु वो इसलिए खरीदता है बिकॉज इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन ऐसी है कि भाई उसको अल्टीमेटली द डिस्पोजेबल इनकम इज लिमिटेड एंड ऑफ द डे दैट्स व्हाई वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस दीज प्रोडक्ट्स आई थिंक सरकार की तरफ से अगर मेरे से पूछा जाए एंड ऑफ कोर्स आई हैव अ पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट इन दिस बट आई ऑल्सो हैव अन इंटरेस्ट इन दिस मेरे हिसाब से सरकार का जो सबसे जरूरी कार्य है इज टू बी एबल टू पुट अ स्टॉप टू प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक दिस विच विल अल्टीमेटली हार्म आर प्लानिट बिकॉज हमारी जो हमारा जो दायित्व है हमारी जो जिम्मेदारी है वो खाली और खाली अपने लिए नहीं है ट्रांजेक्टरी फेज अल्टीमेटली हम आएंगे और हम चले जाएंगे परंतु और भी पीढ़ियां आने वाली हैं आगे सो एंड ऑफ द डे इट इज नॉट अ सिंपल थिंग लाइक कि भाई हम 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 कितनी मतलब इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो हम कितनी हानि पहुंचा रहे हैं यू यू गेव सम नंबर्स इन द बिगनिंग सो दीज आर प्रोडक्ट्स अल्टीमेटली हम बहुत डरते हैं कि बैन right. कर देंगे तो तमाम इसके रिप्रकशन आएंगे कैसे धंधा चलेगा कैसे लोग बहुत अनएम्प्लॉयड हो जाएंगे मेरा पर्सनल व्यू है कि ऐसा कुछ नहीं होने वाला बिकॉज अगर आपको याद हो 2019 में एक अफवाह उड़ी थी कि दो अक्टूबर को मोदी जी अनाउंस करेंगे कि प्लास्टिक बैन आई के नॉट इवन टेल यू अनुराग की विश्व के किसी कोने में हम जाते थे अगर तो हिंदुस्तान की दस कंपनियां मिल जाती थी इतनी एक्टिविटी हो रही थी बिकॉज रोज इनोवेशन हो रहे थे रोज बातें हो रही थी कि कैसे हम ऑल्टरनेट्स ले आए जैसे ही दो अक्टूबर गया और वो अनाउंसमेंट नहीं आया सब ठप हो गया नो बडी एवरीबडी स्टॉप इनोवेटिंग एवरीबडी का कोई टाइम लाइन नहीं रह गई फिर भी सेट की ठीक है यार धंधा चल रहा है जब फिर से मोदी जी जागेंगे तब फिर से भाई हम उसमें कार्य कर लेंगे सो वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट सरकार का काम क्या है सरकार का काम इज ओवरऑल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी स्टेटरी नॉर्म्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा जब सरकार अपना काम करेगी अच्छे तरीके से नॉट जस्ट अबाउट बैनिंग बट इफेक्टिव इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द सेम मैं आपको बता नहीं सकता हूं जो इनोवेशन की गति होगी वो चेंज हो जाएगी लॉर्ड ऑफ सबस्टेट्स आर देयर वेटिंग फॉर इट दे विल ऑल कम इन किसी को कन्वीनियंस में भी नहीं दिक्कत होने वाली ऐसा भी नहीं है कि हम ये बोलेंगे कि यार आज से तीस साल पहले तो करते ही थे आज फिर से कर लो अपना झोला लेके जाओ ऐसा भी नहीं होने वाला है वो इतनी जल्दी प्रोडक्ट्स आएंगे मार्केट में दैट इट विल बी अनइमेजिनेबल सो आई वुड से ऑल सरकार नीड्स टू डू इज टू डू द वर्क ऑफ द राइट स्टेटरी नॉर्म्स आई थिंक अल्टीमेटली दी जो भी प्रकृति को अगर देखें जो प्रकृति से जो भी उत्पन्न होता है और ऐसा कोई चीज नहीं है प्रकृति में जो पैकेज ना आप कोई भी चीज उठा के ले लीजिए अपनी ओन चमड़ी को ले लीजिए उसके अलावा आप केला संतरा मटर मूंगफली नारियल अंडा कुछ भी लेने एवरीथिंग इज ब्यूटीफुली पैकेज्ड एंड अल्टीमेटली प्रकृति में लेकिन वो सारी जो चीजें हैं वो अपसाइकिल होती हैं अपसाइकिल का क्या मतलब है वो वापस धरती में मिल जाती है किसी का खाद्य पदार्थ बन जाती है सो दैट इज दम अल्टीमेटली एवरीथिंग इन इंडस्ट्री मस्ट ऑल्सो लीड टू द सेम आपके कचड़े का जो डब्बा है वो एक ही होना चाहिए और वो सारा का सारा कचड़ा जो है वो खाद में परिवर्तित होना चाहिए चाहे वो बचा हुआ अपना सब साग सब्जी है चाहे वो उसके उसको उस जो 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 साग सब्जी का पैकेट है वो है यू नो एवरीथिंग मस्ट बिकम कॉम्पोस्ट इन दी एंड सो दैट इट बिकम्स बेनिफिशियल फॉर दी अर्थ सो दैट इज दैट इज आइडियल डायरेक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ दी यूसेज एज वेल एज दी डिस्पोजल ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स बिल्कुल आई आई कम्प्लीटली एग्री विद दैट एंड एंड यू राइटली सेड यू नो इट्स अबाउट टेकिंग बोल्ड डिसीजन एंड द ऑल्टरनेटिव आर ऑलरेडी देयर एंड इट्स जस्ट अबाउट मेकिंग दोज डिसीजन टेकिंग बाई देम एंड दी ऑल्टरनेटिव विल कम इन एंड पीपल विल नॉट फेस दोज काइंड ऑफ चैलेंजेस लाइक यू सेट इट वॉन्ट बी लाइक विल गो बैक ट्वेंटी ईयर्स इट वॉन्ट हैपन दैट वेज इट्स ऑल अबाउट मेकिंग दोज राइट डिसीजन एंड देर आर सो मेनी अदर स्टार्टअप ऑल्सो हु आर वर्किंग great in these uh, uh, sustainable uh, lifestyle products and services so i'm really looking forward to this i'm really looking forward to the kind of changes we would see not just in india but the world across and uh, you know would love to interact with you uh, on on a, uh, an upcoming episode again to talk more about uh, sustainable living and how we can save our environment Uh, from the horrors of plastic and with that uh, guys you can definitely go check out yashpacka.com we'll put the links in the show notes below go check out the uh, great work that uh, these guys are doing and uh, if you have any questions regarding plastics paper and how we can save our environment do reach out to mr ved we'll put down his 
uh, LinkedIn uh, profile link in the show notes below as well. Or you can reach out to Yash Paika or Socially Desi if you have any questions regarding sustainability. So with that, uh, thank you, Mr. Wait, for being on the show today. You have been a lovely guest and I have loved our conversation. And I'm sure our listeners today would have gained so many great insights about how we can, as a society, change the way we live. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anurag. Thank you for having me. So that wraps it up for today, folks. If you liked the episode, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and let's go viral. Remember, our weekly podcast features episodes on personal growth, mental health, relationships, business and entrepreneurship and health and fitness. We would love to have Mr. Ved on our show again in the future to talk more about how we can live a sustainable life in the future. So if you haven't yet done so, hit that subscribe button and go check out our website at sociallydesi.com. And as always, before I sign off, remember, life is black and white and everything in between.